All right, my name is Larry Weddington, and this is Alpha 101 Survival YouTube channel. All right, I want to finish talking about the uh, Hornaday rounds and uh, some of the other reasons why I like them. Um, there's a ton of videos out there. If you search, you'll find where other people are actually doing demonstrations on them. Is the fact that with a hollow point, typical hollow points, the reason you want to use a hollow point for one is maximum expansion of the round which it has more stopping power. You're taking all that kinetic energy and you're putting it in and you're spreading out this thing, which spreads out, right? Well, the reason I like hollow points personally when it comes to home defense is that you got your little ones, you got your loved ones, you got your plasma TV and all that crap, you know, sitting in your house that, you know, you don't want a bullet to go through the intruder, keep going and hit all your cool stuff, um, which is why I recommend these rounds. The reason this red stuff is right there in the tip is it will disintegrate slowly upon impact and allow for maximum expansion with zero fault. Which a lot of times around through thick clothing, something like that will pierce and the, the round can get plugged up, bone, whatever it may be, and it treats it like a full metal jacket. So Hornaday came up with this clever little solution to fill it with this stuff under just the perfect circumstances and designed to go through human flesh, yes, I'm going to say that, to disintegrate after penetrating the body uh, so this these things have killer stopping power and uh, 18 inches penetration typically is max uh, before the bullet even fragments uh, it can fragment uh, when it expands it's critical expansion all together that's what makes hollow points so lethal you hit somebody with them they're going down and the bullet it you know in a full metal jacket per se is it going to fly through them and through you know, three other people and stop in a brick wall. So, I do not recommend concealed carry with full metal jacket rounds. I don't. I don't. That's why I like, uh, that's why I like hollow points, especially deer hunting, stuff like that. Um, even squirrel hunting, you're, you're going to get some max maximum expansion. Um, although you, you can mess up your meat a bit, but if you hit them in a critical, critical area, say the heart, I mean, you, you don't, you don't want to try to gut shot a deer with a, with a, uh, hollow point. Um, you know, you definitely want to hit them with a full metal jacket at that point, but, um, a lot of times you shoot a deer, you have to track it long ways anyway, because they, man, animals are just tough. They, they just do not want to go down, right? Okay. I covered that. The other thing I want to cover, now that I finished that about Hornaday rounds, thumbs up. Thank you, Hornaday. It's a great product. Uh, red tons on it. Uh, although I am uh, curious about the legal lega the legality behind these being called Zombie Max. It's got a green thing. These are the 380 rounds um, in there. And the difference between these two is, well, of course, this has a, um, uh, not a copper jacket, but a uh, brass jacket. Instead of the, um, uh, the nickel-plated jacket which is for low light conditions in case you drop a round, which is really designed for revolvers. Also, you flip your revolver open to check, see how many rounds you have. You know, you can see that. You could see where your pin would actually strike that too. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense to me. Now, of course, in a, uh, in a semi-aught, you know, you're not going to need to do that. Uh, and if you're reloading magazines with a semi-aught, well, that's kind of weird. Just get extra magazines. Uh, one thing I do recommend so your magazine springs don't go bad is uh, like like get two get not only one extra magazine but have four total because it's what you want to do is you want to take you want to have two magazines fully loaded every other week you pop those rounds out and you put them in the other mags that way your springs don't go slowly go bad and lose their tension and if they do lose their tension take your magazine apart and pull your spring back out a little bit and that'll fix your mag that way you're not constantly going through magazines wondering why they're going bad so there's there's a tip for the day. Um, also another tip for the day I think I covered this in another video but I think I'm going to shoot it at you again is uh, you know how they say um, oh if you're in an emergency situation you use your shoestring as a uh, tourniquet well it's what I do to all my shoes survival tip of the day is even my tennis shoes every shoe I own I double lace them I put two laces you ever try to walk in a shoe without a lace it ain't happening not it's like a slipper you can't run uh, so you know you can pull one lace out and have an extra you got your back up primary secondary tertiary put that in your brain housing group all right 
So there you go. Uh, sort of finish that off. Now the next thing, YouTubers, I want to cover. Something super sweet I found out. You're going to want to take a note of this. Because I guarantee you, you're going to want one. Is... I found this holster on YouTube, tip, uh, not on YouTube, I'm sorry, I apologize, uh, on Amazon for like 15 bucks, and I was like doubting it, you know, and I read the reviews, I was like, well, we'll see when I get it, you know, I ordered this holster off of there, B-I-S-M, it's a name brand, and I modified it because, well, geez, I only paid 15 bucks for it, so I really don't care, right, excellent quality. I mean, unbelievable. This webbing, thick. Velcro is great. So I modified it. So I, when I go to the range, I could practice quick draws and different type of draws. I modified it where I could grab and draw. Right? And it will fit multiple size weapons because the problem is shorter weapons don't really work in it. So I, I just basically put it in there. I saw where the trigger would go. And I slowly cut this out until I got it to where my 9 mils fit in there perfectly and my 380s. And also, this holster fits fairly well with a 45. It's just your next holster. You don't have to modify it. Now, the only reason this holster doesn't work, which is probably what I could do, is cut it out right through here. Then the compensator would go down through there. I mean, if you got a weapon like it's a very specialized holster... So here is, this is a over-the-shoulder holster, you know, uh, it's for concealed carry, so you, you do a side draw. Um, this is the leather holster for that, which fits it pretty good, but your compensator is always sticking out in the end. And also, this could be unbuttoned and stuck in your pants or whatever, but I'm a little guy. This thing looks like I'm carrying around a Tyrannosaurus in my pocket. Yeah, you know, like I'm going to carry this thing around for concealed carry. Um... Which is why uh, Caltech came out with that 9mm. Just awesome. Love that thing. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you want to take a note, uh, I'm going to give you the exact specs uh, on this holster. So I'm going to tell you the name, so that way you can pop it in uh, Amazon and search it. Alright, here we go. V-I-S-M by N-C-S-T-A-R three-piece drop leg gun holster and magazine holder. The number to the side is C, oh, I'm sorry, Charlie Victor 2908. There you go. I, I highly recommend it. I mean, I, I just, I was blown away when I got it. I actually, this is what I did for you guys. I ordered three holsters. The other ones were like made of uh, paper mache or something. I mean, they were just ridiculous. And one I ordered was actually 30 bucks, And I took I sent it back. Because it was like, it was crap. And then I bought this one and I was like, it was the cheapest one and the best quality. It just blew me away. Really good holster. I mean, even the stitching is good. And even if the stitching isn't great and you get a product like this, we'll get you one of those leather punches. I'll do a demonstration on that for you. I'll show you how to use one of those leather punches to actually show your stuff up. Um, and here, if you look... This thing is so short here, it was so short, and where you pop it off from here, I sewed a little piece of leather on there. That way I can pull it quicker, grab a hold of it. I actually need to make this longer, I just realized that, because I, I can't pull and then draw fast enough, you know. But um, it even has an extra magazine here. Now the belt that it came with, the, the, the belt that goes through here, is made of this same material, but is what I did is I ordered a thicker belt. So I used this belt. This belt was only like, uh, I want to say, 15 bucks on uh, Amazon. And it comes with two little extra magazine pouches, you know. And also, the, uh, the, the holster I just showed you comes with this. It's uh, for three magazines. And its quality is just as good. Velcro, everything. I'm telling you, if you own 380s, smaller type firearms... Um, this holster is perfect for you, even law enforcement. So, I think I covered it this time. Uh, last time my video went over and YouTube rejected it because it was too long. So I think I've compressed everything that I wanted to talk about. And uh, these two videos, it, I'll consider this part one and part two. Um, there you go. If you have any comments, please comment. 
I uh, would really appreciate it if I screwed anything up or I gave you any misinformation, please correct me on it so I can correct other people and do a reshoot an episode. Um, if you like it, like it, that, but that means hitting the thumbs up thing for me. I would appreciate it. Um, comments are appreciated, please. And, uh, you know, I, I, I really appreciate it. Smith 25661. Um, that was, that was a great, cause I don't want to turn anybody off to the Caltex. They do have jamming problems until you break them in. And he was right. And he even mentioned that sometimes with smaller, smaller weapons like this, um, he brought up a really good point was the recoil. The recoil has a lot to do with it. A lot of times if you have a weapon like this that it has a really hard recoil, you got to squeeze it a little bit harder. And that's why this thing will wear you out at the range. I mean, it will kick your butt. But it's only for personal defense. It's not, it's not like, it's not a competition designed firearm. Does that make sense? It's not all smooth and crap. It's got a specific purpose. Nine pound trigger pull, it's really tough. But going to the range and practicing with it, you got to practice with the weapon you're going to use, right? Especially for your personal defense. You know, you need to know how to use it. And that means putting, ah, oh God. My personal opinion is I just can't wait to get a thousand rounds through this thing. You know, um, I love the shoot. The only reason I don't do it more is because, well, it costs money. Um, so there you go. Uh, I was planning on, the sun's kind of going down right now. I was actually planning on doing a uh, repelling demo and a low crawl demo because, well, if uh, you get in a situation where you're taking fire, and that reminds me, like that dude in Colorado that shot all those people up in the theater, it, it, that just breaks my heart. You know, because, I mean, I wish people would really sort of understand the idea of the Second Amendment and what it's about. It's not a, the Second Amendment isn't there to kill people. And that's really what it's sort of, sort of been turned into is this whole idea, well, because of that, you can kill people. No, it's to defend yourself, your personal sovereignty, your freedom. That's what sovereignty means, freedom. You're a sovereign entity, right? You have a right to protect yourself. So it's really disappointing to me, to know that we live in a country where you can carry a firearm to defend yourself, that if there would have been one person, one good person in that theater with one of these, that dude probably wouldn't have done it. If there would have been five or six, he may not even got a round off. Matter of fact, he may have hesitated, knowing that so many people carrying firearms, right? They actually took him into custody. You know, they didn't have to fire a shot to get him. So there you go. I mean, does that not make sense? Am I, am I not being a little logic? Logical. So there you go. You know, I mean, you know, uh, my heart goes out to all those people. Um, the guy was just nuts. You know, it's a shame. Um, like I said, I've got my house broken into and uh, by some psycho dude. Uh, luckily, I had a firearm, and he didn't hurt me or my family. So there you go. Personal experience there. Um, I was trained. He broke into the wrong house that day. Now he's sitting in jail. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you. I mean, oh, bad language. I'm sorry. I apologize if I offended anyone. All right. Um, let me see. What else did I want to throw at you guys real quick? Uh, I've got 13 minutes left. Let me see. Um, ooh, I'd like to go over the AK-47 that I have and quick magazine changes, but maybe I'll do that later. I really want to do the water purification, rock climbing, and uh, low crawl video. Um, yeah, about the whole taking fire thing is what brought up the whole guy from uh, uh, Colorado. Um, so anyway, oh yeah, if, you, if you're a person out there and you're having trouble uh, disassociating the, between violence and, and hurting people, I do not believe in hurting people, so um, there you go, I believe in defending myself, two completely different things. Go get help. Go, go to a psychiatrist, talk to somebody. Matter of fact, get a Facebook page and uh, Facebook people. Get friends. Support. All right? Everybody out there, please be safe. Have fun. And uh, please check out my next video. Later.